Well, that was really fun. I just called Sandra in Florida, and I met her on here, and she likes to respond to all these videos. And it's just so neat to talk to people that I meet on here. You guys are great. Here's the cookies. I left them in too long. Uh-oh. But look it. Look it. You see there? We're getting to have a, quite a little supply. Yeah, now i got to move this one. Oopsie. And put this on there. And put this over here. And I am finally all done. See? Empty. Yep, all done. Turn you off. There we go. Well, that was fun, Sandy, talking to you. Very interesting. It's very interesting to to meet other people through here. I never really thought that I would meet people when I started doing this. I was just doing it because, you know, I was being, being nutso or something, you know. But it's really, it's really fun to, when you guys comment to me, and then you tell me a little bit about your lives. You know, there's another girl that... All these names get all lost in my head, but I'll recognize it. Well, she lives on a place like my place. She's got a lot of marshes and everything, and she lives out in the country. And then there's a girl in New Zealand who has a half an acre or something, or an acre out in the woods, very far out in the woods. And she just built a teepee because she saw my teepees, and she got inspired. She's going to do a yurt. But then in a yurt, it's sort of like a, a, a dome. And... You can't have a campfire in it. And she liked the campfire idea. So now they're in this teepee. I think she's sort of living in this teepee with a campfire. And they're going to have a solstice party in a couple days. Isn't that neat? There are so many of you. There's one up in the mountains in up near Mount Rainier in between two mountain ranges. Oh, and there's somebody else over in New York City. She looks out and sees buildings and lots of people. I wonder how many people walk by her on the road. You know, you see some of these shows, and I don't I don't really have a lot of experience in New York City, even though I lived, my dad worked there when I was little, and so we lived just across the bridge into Teaneck, New Jersey. But I don't have any experience with the city, New York City. But it would be interesting how many people would pass you by as you walk. Are there, is there a constant flow of people? How far can you see ahead before you're seeing a person? Like when I walk downtown, in town here, I can see, you know, four blocks. And there might be one or two purse people on the on there. Maybe there's more. But there certainly is not going to be a crowd going this way and then going that way. However, in downtown Toronto there is. And in Ottawa at lunch hour or something, there's quite a few. <sighs> Excuse me. My life is so different from so many of yours, and yet so much the same. There are so many of you. Modest frugal mama, she's great. And there's, I can't remember all your names. I can, I you know, Panthera in in Holland and Cindy Lou and anyway, there's just so many of you. And I'm getting to know you. And now there's 263 of you. And I'm trying to email and welcome you when you show up, and let you know that I, you know I'm harmless. <laughs> you know, welcome to the family. Or you know, would you like a mug? What's your favorite kind of mug so we can know what to serve you when you come to the teepee for hot chocolate. <sighs> I live in this make-believe world, don't I? Remember Anne of Green Gables and her imagination? Hey, how's my time going? Oh, that wasn't very long. 2.59. I have on the back where you have the window, I have, there's, you know, it's got the, the time right in the back corner. It's the rec REC for record is flashing. And every and and right beside it is the the time, so I can tell how long I've been doing it. And as far as being able to look into the camera, knowing how the camera should face, you know, I just look right into that the the circle there, right into it. You know, hello, hello. You know, but I don't always. Sometimes I look at the red light, <coughs> and I can hold it just at arm's length. I could tell if, if it's not pointing towards me, I can tell. You know, it looks straight at the camera. I have myself here, and this is parallel to me. Anyway, I'm looking forward to your videos. That was really neat when... Now I forget her name. 
oh well one of my friends she said um, she did a video to show me herself getting ready to go somewhere and it was interesting you know, wouldn't think that just getting ready to go outside and go somewhere would be interesting but it was you know to see the inside of her house and where her car keys were and what kind of car keys she had you know I think car keys and your your keychain says a lot about people yeah I mean I don't know what it says but it does say something different for everybody I should do a car key a key car keychain thing one day well what's the time now it is 8.59 8.41 I've got the evening to myself this is very unusual you see I I'm a mother of five children. I've always had five children. In fact, for 25 years, I had preschoolers at home. 25, not five, until they went to kindergarten. I had 25 years. That was a lot of years. And I was either pregnant or nursing for all but 10 months, I think, of about, I can't remember how many years. A lot of years, so not 25, maybe 20. I don't remember. I had seven miscarriages, so there was a lot of time I was pregnant. Anyway, I always had, my house was full of noise and chaos. Children screaming, fighting, running, sliding down the stairs. They would, they would get on their bums and they would slide down the stairs and boom, 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 boom. My husband would tell them to stop it. Sometimes they'd get a piece of cardboard and they sit on the cardboard and slide down the stairs. And one time, Abraham, he picked up the, air, the newspaper. He says, I'm going to make a flyer. And so he put newspapers down all over. And he didn't know they were called flyers. But he put them down. And then he went running from one to the next all around the house. Oh, and we have a stem of the house. Do you have a stem of the house? Well, I used to get exercise that way. We would run around the stem of the house. The kids, kids would run around the stem of the house. Have you run around the stem of your house? I may have to move a lot of stuff if I'm going to do it. Would you like to try that? I'll have to do a different video of it because I'm already at seven minutes and I really have no energy for such things. And tricycles. You know, in the winter time, I used to have their tricycles and they would bring them in the house and they would drive them around the stem of the house. You'd go through the living room and through the bedroom and through the bathroom and then through the next room and back to the living room. You'd go all the way around the stem of the house. <laughs> That's what I called it. And that was fun. And now they're all grown up. My last one's 15, but you know how 15-year-olds are. They're at their friend's house as much as their home or more. So it's very different. You know, we used to have family home evenings on Monday night. It was a big war. Well, for a long time, for many years, they all loved it. Mom, it's Monday. We're having family home evening. And so we'd all get around, and we had our little routine of how we would do it. And we'd say, sing a song, and, you know, the song would be anything. You, you know, whatever those children's songs were. And we'd have family prayer and scripture, and we had the, the children's scriptures with the big illustrated pictures, you know. What's the time? Eight. I can't see it. My arm doesn't kiss that far. Anyway, we had the illustrated scripture stories with the pictures, and so they could learn all the stories by the pictures as well. And so we would read them. We'd go around the room, and everybody would read. And now they're not here. Very different, isn't it? But they're happy. They're all happy and healthy and enjoying their lives immensely. So, you know, I miss that. But at the same time, it had its challenges. You know, you go to, you drop in the bed and you're very tired. And your, your patience was pressed to the brim. And I didn't work. I didn't do that well with, you know, I wasn't a mother who never raised my voice. I never could be that kind. I remember one time I was chasing my son around the room because I was going to spank him. I was chasing him around the stem of the house, actually. And he was going so fast. And I was trying to catch up with him. And then he turned around. He stopped. He turned around and he says, Mommy, I love you so much. <laughs> so, of course, I had to stop. It's time. Oh, 15 seconds more. Well, you can do this at home. Yes, you can. You can get your camera out, point it at yourself, and push the button. 
And if you're missing, you're pointing it over there the whole time, well, you can just delete it. I have a video on how to upload them. Just look for it. Okay, goodbye.